still great, that music. Nice music and nice remix too. It, it is a bit of a surprise. Um, hi, I wasn't even sure I was going to stream myself because I was, um, you know, my face was melting. And, uh, you know, I just went to the, um, just hanging out with some ghouls at the Fallout set, you know? Oh man, someone uh, made more Better Call Saul intros. I should have had those ready. Hey, chat member, if you are the one who made those Better Call Saul intros, can you chop them up individually so that I can like use each one at different times? If you're lo like, if you're watching, only if you want to. If not, I'll do it. It's okay. But you did really nice, chat member, whoever you are. I'll give you proper credit when I figure out who the fuck you are. So, anyway, welcome, everybody. I know this is um, not a day I usually stream. But, you know, I, I really appreciate you joining. This is a game that I very, very much enjoy. Or I did the SNES one. And um, I said, hey, you know what? I bought the game today. I got it physical form because you know how those digital games they go away they they go away uh, but yeah I got the actual physical live alive man I wish there were instruction manuals still but I said fuck it I'm gonna stream I had a productive busy day and uh, it's fucking hot out and I want to play some live alive I want some peak square from when they were on top of the world and actually from what the reviews have said, and I know you can't really trust reviews 100%, but, you know, across the board, this seems to be regarded as a good remake. So. Anyway, welcome back to Live Alive. If you haven't um, watched the first part, keep in mind I streamed a little bit of the demo just to see if it was any good, and it was good. And today... I'm going to load that demo save file, and I'm going to um, I'm going to play some more live for some reason. I don't know why. Hope you're all doing well. This is one of my off days, but you know when a game comes out on a Friday that I really want to play, it, it was a tough decision. But I said, yes, I would like to stream. Now, I think I might want to start a brand new chapter. I think I'm going to do the distant future to start. When I played this game for the first time, I started in chronological order. And that works. That's cool. But, you know, because then you'd start with Unga. But I kind of want to start with the distant future because this is a really cool chapter. It's very story-based, and uh, I think you'll enjoy it. I think I will, too. Far from Earth, in the vast void of space, the transport freighter Cogito Ergosum, or is it Cogito, <laughs> slowly makes its way home. Aboard this tiny vessel, a new form of life is born. So, if you haven't seen the demo, you'll have some time to uh, catch up. You can go back and watch it on the Full Sauce channel if you want, or you could play it yourself. But I did um, the Chinese chapter, and uh, that was cool, but we didn't finish it. We, you could only do the first bit of it. So, um, you can go back and watch that. So, catch up, cats and kittens. Don't get left behind. Okay. Hang on. Let me let me sit and enjoy this. I'm going to do that. Yeah, so if you haven't watched part 1, you can watch this cuz it's a completely new story. This is not like it takes place in different time periods, but it's not like Chrono Trigger where it's one linear story. 
this is more choose however the fuck you want to start and then hope that later they all meet up. Will they? I don't know. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Record of departure, space dock. Registration, Cogito Ergo Sum, civilian transport freighter, destination Earth. Cargo, Xeno biological specimen, crew, five, passengers, one, courier, military. Chat member, do not try to get me to say the, the Walter meme. Please. Primary cargo, xenobiological specimen, description, giant quadruped, habitat unknown, capabilities unknown. Well, ship looks nice in 3D. This will remind some of you of a movie. Orders from command concerning specimen are as follows. Detailed study of specimen is of highest priority. All necessary measures should be taken to ensure delivery. Escort is mandated. That movie? Alien Covenant. A classic in, uh... Uh, well, it's a classic in regards to movies named Alien Covenant. It makes me like Prometheus more. You're up early. So, finally awake. The distant future. The distant future. It is the year 2000. Hey, you think that's the future? An escape from New York? It takes place in the very distant year of 1999. Call me Snake. Okay. I should do it. Huh? That's odd. British. Very odd indeed. I'm certain I did everything right. Huh? It, it worked. It worked. R three PO. Wonderful. Hello there, little one. Can you hear me? My name is Kato. K-A-T-O. Kato. It's a pleasure to meet you. I... Uh... Right, of course. You need a name. Let's see. Well, you're quite round. Na name is Ball. Roundy? Mm. Ball. That's terrible. Hardly fit for a dog. My name's Finger, Walter. Yes. Well, you may be round, but mankind's strength is our sense of humor. Cube. Wow. That's impressively worse. Naming was never my forte. Perhaps inspiration will strike as we walk. Cube is a great name. Come along, little one.
when I get to more sequences that aren't so story heavy, I'll tell you about uh, a fun thing that happened in the movie theater today. The movie theater. I saw Escape from New York in the theater. There was a, a movie premiere of a movie from 1981. No, it was just a screening of Escape from New York, which is a cool movie. And, um... Yeah, it was fun. But something funny happened. I'll tell you about it in a little bit. A mint condition steel, uh, vintage steel titan. That's interesting. I wonder if that's a reference to the other chapter. Holographic photo frame. A smiling elderly couple stand on either side of a young boy holding a toy spaceship. Personal computer. Schematic titled Support Unit Version 3. Displayed on the screen. Somnopathic wellness bed. The memory foam not only conforms to the occupant's body, but also uses electrical pulses to stimulate their muscles while sleeping. And help maintain physical fitness. Where can I get one? Kitchen unit. A variety of dishes and utensils are soaking in a solution in the sink. We know everything about this room now. Except this. Personnel log. Date, whenever. Completed first prototype. Performed basic stress tests. Initial results are... Passable. Conducted additional testing of second prototype. Motor functions needed work, but... Uh, locked up during tests. Uh, remote operation function was within acceptable parameters. Commenced construction of third prototype. Finished reading latest Earth tech journals. New circuit boards are most impressive. In any event, I will make do with what I have. Completed third prototype at last. We'll begin performing tests after I finish my rounds of the ship. The captain came to look at my work. He said, we're one week out from Earth, which means that tomorrow we're to bring the others out of cryo. Hopefully I can get our new crew member up and running by then. Private quarters, occupant Kirk Wells. You do not have access to these private quarters. Kirk? Is this going to be Jean-Luc or Picard Johnson? Rachel Klein. Man, I wanted Picard Johnson. Charter guest. <laughs> Good. Good. Follow me. still a really good idea for Square to do this game in the Octopath style. The first thing we need to do is register you as a crew member. Otherwise, you won't be free to move about the ship. I mean, I think this style is definitely going to have its hits and misses. I like it. Not every environment is a winner. But I think it's, I kind of think it's mostly better than what they did with the Secret of Mana remake. And I think it's better than Trials of Mana on some level. But I think Trials actually had some budget put into it. And it was, I thought it was mostly pretty good looking. Chat thought Angela was pretty good looking as well. Yeah. If anyone makes an Among Us joke... You will be thrown into the pits of hell. If you already have, then you already are. Greetings, Kato. I hope this morning finds you well. Top of the morning to you too. I'd like to enter a new crew member into the system. Understood. This game is just making me voice act. I should get paid. I should get paid for this. <laughs> I have to, like, voice act with another voice actor. Autonomous support. Please state designation. 
It's cube. It's cube. Cube! And with that, you should be able to come and go as you like. Oh, and whatever you do, don't forget your name. Access to private quarters is subject to some perfunctory security restrictions. To enter, you may need to input your name. So, if you're ever having trouble, that's one thing you can try. To do so, access the panel to the left of a door. Do you understand? Or would you like me to repeat myself? No, I, I got it. Then the next order of business, little one, is a test of your analytical skills. I'm going to leave this room and head to another area on this floor. I want you to try and find me. What? We're playing hide and seek? Oh, and if you're ever feeling lost, take a moment to review the ship's map. Yeah, sorry, the budget extended only to 80% of the lines. SNES version has no map. I forgot about that. It's been a decade, but... It's nice to have one. Also, the game is good at giving you little, like, hints that you can turn off. So, like, uh, the blue diamonds. But yeah, this game can be a slow burn for some of the chapters, but it ultimately ends up being a very rewarding experience. No. So wait, why was this blue? Does blue me me meanies? Does blue meanies? I think blue means you've been there already. Vinny, why isn't this on other platforms? Crisis Core made it to other platforms. You see, we here at Square have decided not to include this game on other platforms. I know, listen, I'm only representative for Square. And therefore, I don't have the exact reason. Um, I don't know, but console exclusives are annoying. And there's a chance that this is one of those... Uh... It's one of those games that will be released on the Switch first. Because Nintendo maybe gave Square a couple bucks. This is a, a thing that Sony is very good at as well. I mean, they're all good at it, that this is what they do. This is what happens when you have a console. You have to, uh... ...have your exclusives. And anyway, um... There's a chance that it will come to Steam at some point. Final Fantasy VII Remake did. Cryogenic Stasis Room. Robot happy. Good. You made it. Now it's time for you to meet your fellow crew members. To be fair, Nintendo published this game. Oh, they did. In this door, you'll find the cryogenic stasis pods. We use them to put humans into cold sleep to preserve resources during long trips into space. Little one, I have a very important job for you. I want you to head inside and wake up your new friends. Oh, in the U.S. only, Square it. published it in Japan. Okay. Information concerning the registered occupant is displayed on a nearby screen. Good morning. Oh, shit. 
It's Chuck Steak, Military McFuckman. Was the name... What was the name? I skipped it too quick. It was like Haley Trumbull. Like Douglas Trumbull, like the person who did the effects for um, Star Wars, was it? Huey Trumbull. Oh, Huey. Oh, there he is. Yeah, Huey Trumbull. Chief Mate. Um. Uh. Rachel Klein, signaler. Signaler. Why does she look like she belongs in a medieval RPG? Oh, wait. Kirk Wells. Helmsman. Good morning, Chrono. Thank you, little one. I appreciate the help. Why are you a ball? Good morning, my friends. That's how they made the robot ball. Finished your pet project? Indeed. They have even taken a name for themselves. Hello, Hello my name is Rachel. Looking forward to working with you. Working with you. Nice to meet you, buddy. She... Name's Kirk. Stryer? <sighs> Rise and shine, Huey. We've been on ice long enough. Show us what you've got. Mind giving Sleeping Beauty here a swift kick to get him up and moving? It's funny to think that, like, how would they cast the Chrono Trigger cast? You know what I mean? Like, would Ayla be British? Unga bunga. I guess they could just hire the DBZ people and just get them to do the voice acting. Gook, you dingus. I'll thank you again for Great not word. a blissfully sleeping man's pillow. I'm sure we had this conversation before. Chris Pratt as Chrono. Yeah, he wouldn't even what have to show up to work. What is that thing? Easy there, Huey. You're still coming out of cry. Thank you. As for the new addition, it's that Bakato's been working on forever. Huh? Oh. Bot. Gato's bot. Don't act like you've never seen a robot before. Right. That project of his. He got it up and running. <clears throat> Hello there. I'm Huey. Hello, everybody! Corporal Darth. Darth! <laughs> Hardly. If anyone actually feels better coming out of cryo, I've yet to meet them. I was expecting, like, American drill Good sergeant. Job, Corporal. Cardo finally finished the bot he was working on. I'm gonna need Let's to increase the text you. speed. <laughs> Never mind that. Let's dispense with the formalities. This dude's so wide. Tell me, though. Do you intend to let your clank have the run of the ship? If so, then I expect you to see that it does not get underfoot, and to discipline it if it does. If there is nothing else, then I will go on ahead to the recreation room and prepare for the briefing. 
Yeah, they they outread the text when you do auto advance. So. That's a military man for you. All business. Made it look a little like a military man. Mm. Real mm. piece of work, mm. huh? Mm. Just thinking music sometimes. Sorry. That's the second Paul McCartney thing that reminded me of Paul McCartney today. I wonder if there's a temporary secretary in this game. Right, of course. The customary briefing. A Twitch channel crew. could use another strike. <laughs> you should join us in the recreation room too. Don't worry about the corporal. He'll warm to you in due time. Seems like a lovely, lovely lad. It's as if you actually see it as one of us. But I suppose that's just your way. Oh, do you think so? You can tell he's the, the smart nerd of the crew because he has glasses. Uh, I want to turn the graphic settings down, please. It's like if you turn all the settings all the way down, it just goes back to the Super Nintendo. Oh, turn the FOV up. So, I'm watching Escape from New York. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a showing. It's, a, it's in the theater. And uh, there's a scene where they're trying to get to a car. And then they open the hood of the car and someone has a crossbow. And this, uh, you know, it was like a couple. And they're probably in their late 20s. And, and halfway through the movie, uh, the, the girl started talking a lot. You know, with a nice, thick New York accent. <laughs> And, um, so the trunk opens, the guy has got a crossbow when he's in it, and she goes like this, I swear to God, this is exactly what it sounded like. She goes, I'm dead. Oh my God. Oh my God, is Kurt Russell going to die? Loud. And then, and then they were just conferring the whole movie. And, uh, they just kept going about. You know, like, oh my god, did he get shot? Did he get shot? And then a Staten Island guy, of course, you know. Yeah, he got shot. Can you shut up? So, that was a fun theater experience. Just a fun little moment I wanted to share with you all. <laughs> there you are, Cube. No sign of the captain. He's usually such a stickler for punctuality. Mm -hmm. Oh, you must be interested in my book. Some Would voice like acting, some it? not. That's kind of him. The dawn of the space age. It was written by humans long, long ago. I've always enjoyed these older stories. They have an earnestness, an adventurous spirit that speaks to me. <laughs> Says the guy who's practically terrified of his own shadow. <sighs> it must sound strange to you, seeing as how you were born on this ship, so to speak. I think you should learn as much as you can. Expand your horizons. Take a look around the ship and see if anything interests you. Don't just rely on humans to teach you, either. Experiment. Try to do things on your own. Kato, does this bot of yours have any unique abilities or talents? 
Well, no, not as such. Uh, but they do have the capacity to process data and develop skills, such as. Ah, why don't I? Cube is not a pleasure coffee? model, Jeff. Come with me, little one. I'll show you how to use the machine. Not all the time. Stop, question marks. Push the button. It's simple enough. The coffee machine sits atop the counter, expectant. T. Earl Grey, hot. Hot. Coffee bot. What is my purpose? Wait, was this dude's name Darth in the um, fan translation as well? Well, would you look at that? Mind if I have a taste? It was? Okay, just checking. Uh... Again, I forgot all the little minute details of this game. A bit bitter for me. But uh, I remember the broad strokes of it. I remember really liking it, and I like the music, too. Even though Kirk... Kirk Trope is playing a computer game right now. Don't touch me! Oh my god. Please, th there's no need to get so upset. You people have no idea what these things are capable of. But I do. I've seen it. Uh, I don't know about War. any of that. But I'm sure it's got nothing to do with this one. War never changes. Darth watched Blade Runner one time, and now he doesn't like robots. Hey, it's the captain. I think I missed some dialogue. I apologize for keeping you all waiting. Matters with our contacts on Earth demanded my full attention. So, what is the status of our crew? Bootleg Jonathan Price? Everyone is present and accounted for, sir. Good. Wait, what is that thing over there? Ah, that would be the robot I've been working on, sir. Fully operational, I see. You'll have to permit me a closer look later. Just like data. Fully right, operational. Then. Everything appears to be in order, so... That will be all. Was I funny? No. Hell of a briefing, huh? Spent most of the time gaming and waiting for it to begin and end just like that. You say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> well, it is what it is. Ah, oh, man, I wanted to see what game they were playing. Oh, Gato. If you want to get a look, come down to the cargo hold. At the behemoth? Oh, of course! That'd be wonderful! Ah, but first I need to perform a brief inspection of the main computer. I'll head downstairs afterwards. Ah, you must be wondering. This is a transport freighter, and as usual, we've been tasked with making a delivery. Anyway, if you like, you can use the elevator to come and join me. The main computer is on level three. And the cargo hold is on level one. Roger, Roger. All right, pleasure bot. Let's see what you're capable of.
Captain Square. You can interact with the arcade machine in the recreation in the recreation room to play the Captain Square retro video game. <laughs> this looks like Captain Novalin. The fucking diabetes game from the Super Nintendo that I played like a couple of months, like a month or two ago. From within your mind, no one else can find the life that you inspire. From another place, not from outer space, but from somewhere. During a battle as Captain Square, you can select quick game to stop playing. Even higher, and you have the memory card in your possession, you can save your progress. Yeah, so it's not actually... It's not actually its own game. I mean, this is just the battle yeah. system of the game. Oh wait, is it a little different? Mental. No, it's about the same. Quark Sword. Oh no, I, I don't know about these uh these robots, Odo. I mean we've got we've got hollow sweets. Supernova! What am I supposed to do if we got a bunch of suck bots running around DS9, Odo? Quark, are you worried about your customers' penises? Never! Come on, Odo! Of course not! Maybe a little. That's very considerate of you, Quark. Pachyon Sword! These streams start so innocent. They really do, and then it turns into... whatever the fuck yesterday's raft stream turned into. Clear. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Desert. <laughs> Wait, you didn't just call Odo's member a smooth hot dog, right? It can be whatever you want it to be, Nerese. What are these lads? But yeah, for those that didn't watch part one or have never played this, the, the combat system is quite... Quite different. A little experimental for its time. Oh, they're doing cosmic headbutts. There you go. Yes! 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 But attacks have different, you know, attributes and stuff, but they also have different spots on the grid. And they also have time to charge up. Like, so I want to use, mm, I want to use Supernova over here. Fuck! There it is. Supernova! I mean, it doesn't do much, but the fire tiles help. If I just do that a couple times, they'll probably end up dying. <laughs> Yes! Victory! Cube got XP for that. Next stage, Earth. It's just fire? 
I don't think the fire tiles are going to damage these lads. Wow, I was happily, happily wrong on that one. I want to see the Quark Sword. Quark Sword is... Damage massive, but the charge time, there's much uh, charge time required. There it is. That is pretty cool. No! <laughs> Wait, but, but, but the fire moved out of the way. Oh, that sucks. What are you not resistant to? It's a classic square noise. I think maybe this sp space page. Move up one. Ah, shit. All right, fine. Resistant. Um. Spinning star resistant. Quark sword resistant. Then he just attack. Zero. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on, everybody. I have to mute. One moment. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I unmuted. It turns out I was muted. I was on the phone um, for a minute, and then I thought I unmuted. I didn't, and good for me. Not a, not a bit, by the way. Even though I have a melty face in my photos, sometimes, uh, sometimes my bits are unintentional. Chat. Did I have to get water? from the blue flames to defeat that. I did. Did I have to voice crack just now? Yes. Get the water. Here's where they keep the spacesuits.
So yeah, um, is there actually? Wow, it's oh. magnificent, isn't it? Is there any reason now, to go back to that arcade game, chat members? Look, he seemed almost offended at the suggestion. It's in our nature, I fear, the tendency to Just be unwilling fun. or unable to acknowledge the other. Kirk is who he is, and I respect that, but. I don't think I'll ever be at ease with people like him. Strong, bold men. Men who conquered space and paved the way for others to follow. You boldly go where no one has gone before. It's not just Kirk, though. Lately, I've been struggling to relate to Rachel, too. Maybe it's just me. You and Kirk are complete opposites. Yet you seem to get along well enough. <sighs> Is that you, little one? Vinny, Come why are you playing as look. Doodle Dip? Fuck. This is the priceless cargo we're transporting. Beautiful. Don't you think? I don't know how I feel about that. So long as you admire it from a distance, even the most exquisite rose handled without care will bleed you with its thorns. And this particular rose has two massive ones, in case you haven't noticed. Mm. Hey, can you two come to the bridge? That was a nice sprite. Got some comms trouble by the look of it. I could use a hand here. Double time, Huey. Warp speed. We're just laying those Star Trek references on thick. Look all you like. I don't care. But do remember that this is military property. My responsibility. And I do not take it lightly. E yes. Of course. We were just leaving, actually. Kato, there's a section of wiring just outside the cargo hold I need you to check for me. Understood. Let me just open this thing here. You again. I better not catch you fiddling with that console. Fiddle about, fiddle about. Okay, visual log. Audio log. I, to me, that seems like a thing to be trifled with. Should we trifle? Is that Weed Cat's final evolution? So we're going to the bridge. I like how they let the little robot fella just wander about the spaceship with no real restrictions. When they give a robot a hat and glasses, you know that they don't really take it seriously. And sneakers, sorry, roller skates. No one's worried about this robot. This isn't David from Prometheus, or insert other famous robot that went on a killing spree. Yeah. 
HAL 9000? Well, HAL 9000 was more or less a disembodied computer voice. So that's a little bit of a different thing. Great, just peachy. Can't put my finger on it. I've seen all kinds of problems before, but this is different. We're receiving inbound transmissions without issue. But outbound transmissions are another story. <laughs> I'm going to stop doing that. And you checked the sub antennas? I did, and they're fine. It's a Watanabe hypercaster, made in Japan and everything. The main and subunits are designed to function independently, so one going down shouldn't necessarily affect the other. What did the captain have to say? Continue your investigation and get back to me when you have more information. We'll settle on a plan then. And you checked the sub antennas? I did, and they're fine. It's a Watanabe hypercaster. Made in Japan and everything. The main and subunits are designed. Let the little robot fellow with the hat and the roller skates take care of this. And you check. I did. It's a what? The main. Hmm. Well, it's still orange. There's a part of me that's wondering if there's more dialogue here, or if, or if it's like, go be, be free. Wait and see, huh? Oh. The whole system could fail before he's ready to take action. Sorry. What a horrible thought. The system has already effectively failed, if we can only receive transmissions from Earth. As it stands, we can no longer exchange information with them. We can only hope they have surmised our situation from our silence. <sighs> Sounds like an excuse to do nothing. I'm heading outside to perform an on-site inspection of the array. Something probably came loose or got knocked out of position. Should be easy to fix once I get a good look at it. I can beat your high score in that arcade game, Kirk. There's no talking him out of it now. You punk. So we may as well try and back him up. Are you up for a spacewalk, Kato? Yes, of course. Rachel, I'll go with Was that a hint of hesitance in his voice? I'll come back afterwards so we can monitor from the bridge. Deep poop pleasure model. That is me. So close to home. So close. The last thing we need right now is to spend time alone together. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Yes. I know the song. What is it? Captain, sir, I wish to update you on the comms issue. Kirk and Kato are going to head outside and perform an on-site inspection of the array. Huh. I see. Very good. Captain? What's gotten into him? Hmm. Yeah, Captain's acting kind of weird. So Not like I knew him before, but I'm just surmising. Performing diagnostic of AI control system. No alamalibas. Uh, no amoebas detected. Well, they're really small, so how would one detect an amoeba? While this elevator goes, I'm going to... I need a water. Oh, I know. Actually, one second, Chad. I need a...
It's a lot of dead air. Chat is livid. Streamer has abandoned them. He did it. He said the line. I'm back. I just needed a headache medicine and something to drink. Because I, I, I just I have a bit of a headache. What if the plot twist is I have no headache whatsoever? And I just thought it would be fun to Please. take a headache medicine. This is neither the time nor place. You and your holier-than-thou attitude. <sighs> Stay out of it, bot. Well, that's that's fucked. There you go again, losing your temper, hurting others. <laughs> Got it all figured out, huh? Your problem is you can't take a joke. Always so damn serious. You're exhausting. It's a miracle Rachel humored you as long as she did. We're leaving. Try not to get sucked out the hatch when we go. Be a real shame that. Are you all right? Hmm. Square Enix walk cycle. That's my new band name. This chapter is very light on music. It's mostly just ambient sounds and silence for uh, effect. But the whole game has great music. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. Yes, open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry you had to- People are... a bit more complicated than machines. Don't you think? Press the button too soon. Beep boop. It hurts. My ball. Ow, my ball. I don't know where we're going next. I'll just go this way. It's probably not this way. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna have to go back up to the bridge. Well, gray- I haven't been to that gray area yet. These corridors do look very nice. Oh, is the medical bay. Well, we'll probably be here soon enough anyway. Ah, yes, apply the gel, please. No, by all means. Doc, I don't think I should be applying the gel to DePaul. Well, no, by all means, please apply the gel. Ah, aroused nipples. Very good medical sign. Healthy as an ox, really. I don't know, Doc. This feels a little weird. 
Trust me, the ratings will be good. I can't wait to see the post. What is Apply the Gel? What is its origin? I'll tell you about it. I will, I will actually not gatekeep this stupid bit. Rachel, I'll tell you position. what it is in just a minute. Understood. I've explained it before, but it's fun, so I'll just tell you more about it. It's relevant All to right. this. Let's get oh, the show on the road. A long road, getting from there to here, even. Cool chairs. Commencing operation. Kato, you need to access the administrator controls. Switch the system to maintenance mode. Inputting code. Whiskey Alpha, Tango Alpha, November Alpha, Bravo. Uh, Kirk? Kirk, do you copy? Loud and clear. Everything's fine. Huh? I... I can't... Kirk? Kirk! What's happening? Kirk? Kirk, respond! Someone talk to me! I've got him! But there's something wrong with this suit! We're coming in! I'll prep them at bay and meet them at the airlock. They've been out there like three minutes. I'm coming too. Disaster strikes fast. I have it under control, Rachel. Don't worry. I'm sure Kirk is fine. He's as tough as they come. Stop it! Just stop it! I need to be there for him. Apply the gel in Star Trek Enterprise, which came out in the 2000s. It was a prequel to the original. Ratings were not so great on DS9 and Voyager, and thus they tried to go back to basics in a way, and they went even before the original series. And as a result, the technology wasn't quite as, as, as good. And um, they don't teleport around very often in the early seasons. Instead, they take shuttles. H however, there will be contaminants. So when they get back to the ship, they have to go into the decontamination chamber. And they have to, like, apply this gel to each other. But they have to strip down to their underwear. And it's a good thing that there's a lot of eye candy on the crew. Because they are getting in their underwear from time to time. And to Paul, the Vulcan lady just blatantly has like fake nipples in one scene. Oh, this is the wrong way. What am I doing? Unless those are real nipples. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, that's why I, yes, apply the gel. The doctor is saying, well, you need to decontaminate. But it was just, it was purely sex appeal. I guess we're going to Med Bay, where I just was. What about Merkins? Yeah, what Star Trek race is that? Worf, where did you get that Merkin? In combat. Oh, 
Not looking so good. Where's the captain? Hey. Where is the captain? Ah, yes, right. I'll go and get him. Like seriously, get this dude over here. People. Gel applied, well done. So, this accident was the result of a defective life support system. A preventable death caused by negligence. You're wrong. I triple checked the suits beforehand shouldn't have been possible for it to just up and fail like that. Is that so? Then perhaps we must consider the possibility that it was not an accident, but the intended outcome. <coughs> was that an explosion? I sure hope not. I was waiting for it. Where's the captain? Why isn't he here? Well, I, I, I'm not quite sure. I tried repeatedly to contact him, but he wouldn't respond. What's wrong with you people? What kind of ship are you running here? Right now, we need to find out what that explosion was. Then I will go and check on my cargo. Fucking, Look there's an explosion. Region, one. We got a dead crew she member. The company. Now more than ever. If something happens, Captain's not responding. Bridge. Uh, this chapter again, like the game, it. Some of the chapters are set up more like traditional RPGs. This one is much more story oriented. Kirk's body lies motionless in bed, devoid of life and energy. And possibility, almost childlike in his vulnerability. His skin grows paler by the moment, as if color is desperate to flee the empty vessel. I mean, <clears throat> there's just flavor text for a variety of things here. Yes, tell me about the patient. Oh, he's purple. That's right. I'm the purple one. I do what I want. That's me! The fucking Teletubby social media is 
like, posting tubby custard because of that pink sauce shit I was talking about last night. It was something like, they were showing clips of tubby custard, they were like, when something called pink sauce goes viral and it's not tubby custard. Something stupid like that. Vinny, wait, you'll miss the chest burster. I don't, I don't know about the chest burster. Some very powerful individuals believe this specimen to be worth a fortune. An invaluable piece in the great game of nations. It's still in there, right? Okay, good. Ah, I'm the pipe one. Everything appears to be operating within normal parameters. You spoke too soon. I... I don't understand. The main antenna, it's... It's gone. Because of the explosion just now? Disaster after disaster. At this rate, I'd be better off climbing into an escape pod and trying for Earth on my own. <clears throat> I don't know what to do. Think, think. It's gotten into the captain lately. He's always cared for the crew. Done his best to keep us out of harm's way. He prided himself on it. Other operations don't value the human element, but we do, which ironically goes against our baser instincts, he once told me. Burp, burp, coffee. What robot voice is this? What's that from? No, 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 not the tubby custard boy. It's a robot. It's not Meatwad. It's like... Boring! Uh... Oh, wait. Is that my own voice that I'm referencing? The Mr. Saturn's? Ah, oh, thank you, but I don't need one right now. Let's see. Do you want a coffee? Thank you. I'll just levitate this coffee down into your lap. Right. Get yourself together. Captain! Sir, are you still in your quarters? Well, anyway, there's been an accident. And Kirk? I'm afraid Kirk is dead. What? Really? That's... That's most unfortunate. This situation merits an appropriate response. He will be dearly missed. See to the preparations. I will make sure to attend. Wait, Captain! 
Your captain is a man of remarkable composure. He remains calm and collected, even after being told one of his crew has died tragically. <sighs> I got a sound effect for that event that just happened. I have work to attend to at the airlock. <sighs> I suppose I could go and look around in Kirk's quarters. See if he had any prized possessions. Something to put in the casket. Ah, that's thoughtful of you. By all means, please. Excuse me? What does God need with the starship? That's good, Mr. Shatner. Can we just do another take? Nope. when they told him to do the take another take of that voice acting line well that was a stroke moment that just happened there but he's like ha, 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 okay okay well I'll just do the line how you want me to do it to be fair that situation was pretty scummy it was a very unprofessional voice acting recession or so it seemed Kirk has passed away. To facilitate the collection and disposal of his personal effects, access restrictions have been lifted. However, regulations stipulate that a record of all entrants be maintained. My, my name is Cadence of Hyrule. What do we have here? A book? The Warp Drive. Science fiction or reality? Ah, this would explain a lot. Like that expression he was so fond of when time was short. Warp speed. As if saying it made it possible. Made it real. We should leave this here. Rachel would be most upset if anyone else touched it. I don't know the password. Burial in space, huh? There is comfort, at least, in having the opportunity to mourn. What do we have here? A book. Right. Holographic photo frame. A man and a woman stand shoulder to shoulder and smile broadly for the camera. Trophy collection. A wide assortment of awards for both athletic and academic achievements. All are gold. I think I might know the password. Risk of Rain 2. Mm, never mind. I mean, the only other thing I can glean from this room is that the password is warp speed. It's it's wingspan. No, it's Wario. <laughs> warp sauce. Note to self, stash it at the foot of the bed. Memory card obtained. This item can be used to save your progress in the Captain Square video game.
Okay. Thanks. You don't steal someone's memory card. Upon perishing, please take my Animal Crossing memory card and feed my villagers. They don't feed themselves. And they certainly do not pull the weeds out of the ground. The fuck? The machine bears a curious resemblance to Cube. It appears to be deactivated. Hmm. Hey chat, has Vinny said anything about Xenoblade 3? Just curious. I didn't finish Xenoblade 1, didn't play 2, not gonna get 3, sorry. I was gonna make a xenophobia joke, but that's one of those things that would be taken out of context, like almost undoubtedly. Yep, yep, yep. So, wait a minute. We, we went into the room. We can't actually find any personal affects. I thought it was affects. It said effects before. Well, let's see what's down here. Maybe, maybe we have to be back here. Oh, okay. Wait, we can go here. Here we go. Beep boop. What up, dude? How did it come to this? I never liked the man, far from it. But never, not even once did I wish he was dead. Never. I'm just a uh, moral support bot at this point. Vinny, I used the Oculus Rift for the first time today, and now I understand your dizziness after using it. Holy shit. Yeah, Facebook is dizzyingly fucking stupid. I agree. Mate, the... No, I, I really, um... I really, really could not stomach the Oculus. But I had DevKit 2 Oculus, like, seven years ago now. And that was Vom City. But the Index was a lot better. It was a lot more comfortable. There's a lot of things in place to make it so that I didn't want to Vom as much. I still had to, like, kind of ease myself into doing, um like control stick movement as opposed to uh warping but yeah it, it takes some time to get used to so where's the uh patient Did they do the funeral already? Already? Hmm. 
human music. So I like Escape from New York, but I don't love it. I think there's a lot of cool stuff in it. Not my favorite Carpenter. I think it's, um... It's still one of his better movies, for sure. And I like the end of the movie more than, like, some of the beginning stuff. But it's just very memorable. It's a little wacky here and there. Some of the, um... The sound editing, I couldn't help but notice some crust, but, I, but it's whatever. It's fun. The action's good, and it is ten times better than Escape from L.A. Goes without fucking saying. Also, the soundtrack is great. This reminded me, like, this little techno bass line. I say techno. Synthesizer bass line reminded me of... Um, To some extent, Carpenter's uh, soundtracks. I really like his music. And I, I love the Escape from New York soundtrack. What was that? The body's missing? Oh, they didn't take it. Someone just said in chat, a carpenter and a musician. What can't he do? Direct a movie past 1995. What the hell is going on here? I mean, he I'd earned like it. I know as much as you would. Wait, where is Rachel? Did no one contact her? Why isn't she here? Hmm. <laughs> oh no. Kurt, my love. <laughs> Still catching up on sleep, are we? Oh no. That's fine. I'll have some fresh baked cookies ready for you soon. That ought to get you out of bed. <sighs> <laughs> Stampy, it is space madness. Rachel. Rachel, what is this? Don't... Don't you dare try to take him from me again. Oh, Huey. Clever little Huey. If he was out of the picture, then it'd all go back to the way it was. I'd come running back and leap into your arms. That's what you thought, isn't it? That's why you tried to kill him, isn't it? Rachel, please. Listen to what you're saying. Get out of there, Rachel, before Huey tries to stop you. I'm waiting for you outside the airlock. Don't worry about my body. Hurry. Warp speed. Rachel, stop! Kirk's body lies motionless. Etc, etc. So how about that shit? An adorable toy reminiscent of a Terran bear. The head and red ribbon it once wore have been violently torn from the body. 
frame is cracked, and the projected image is riddled with artifacts, distorting the couple's faces. Personal computer. A message is displayed on the screen. Tell me what to do, Kirk. I know you're in there. I know this isn't happening. It's not real. It's not... I, I did what you wanted. Why won't you... What was, what was the last thing it said? Why won't you speak to me, Kirk? Please, Kirk, Kirk, Kirk. So there's layers of fucked up things happening right now. Chat froze. Chat's back. I guess if that diamond is still orange, that means... Uh, that means I am... Not on the right floor. I like the system of giving the player a little bit of an indication of where to go. I mean, you can turn it off, but a lot of times in the older RPGs... It's like four of the gameplay hours or more are just wandering. The airlock on level one. Yeah, I'm, I'm dumb. Sorry. But yeah, no, I, I do, I do like, especially for this, like, I'm, I'm happy to not be wandering around. Like, I, I just want to watch the story unfold until I'm given a little bit more agency. Rachel, this is insane! Get your hands off me! Get a hold of yourself. Calm down, let's talk about this. Oh, could any more things go wrong? See, now this is cool. You get to do some dynamic camera angles. How? It's moments like this that make me think of a song. And uh, I'm just going to read the lyrics to you because I don't want to. I don't want to sing it. But it's very poignant for a scene such as that. that. And uh, the, the song is um, Who Let the Dogs Out? Who, who, who who let the dogs out? Who? Nope. If 
If you encounter the escaped behemoth while traversing the ship, run away as quickly as you can. If the behemoth catches you, the game will immediately end. <laughs> Not a whole lot of combat in this chapter. I guess technically this is an egg-like. What do you mean the behemoth is loose? Damn it! No. Are you all right? Oh, thank goodness. No damage as far as I can see. Is that what you want, Rachel? <laughs> okay. Now, look me in the eyes and listen very carefully to what I have to say. We were all there in the med bay. We all saw Kirk. We all saw him on that bed and saw the system pronounce him dead. Okay? You remember that, don't you? I know it's hard to accept, but he's gone. No matter how much you may want to believe otherwise, that's the truth. You can take it from here, I trust. I need to check the cargo hold. Corporal? Thank you. We've had enough death for one day. Trope subverted. here. The clank was right. The container is empty. And to make matters worse, the specimen appears to have escaped the cargo hold. There's no telling where it's got to. Keep your eyes peeled and be prepared to run. Let's regroup at the elevator near you and head to the upper levels. Shit. I'm sorry. I suppose I... I couldn't accept it. It's just... It was all so sudden. One minute he was here, and then... Probably get a uh, good time to save. Those were words. Somewhere in there was words. <laughs> Probably be a good time to see, uh, get some cheese. We'll figure out a way to catch it soon enough. That beast will be back in its cage long before we land. You'll see. Climate control system is operational. Hey, so uh, where's that captain? Dude is totally, totally negligent.
This is a nice robot. Thank you, little one. It's getting to be a bit much, isn't it? Sorry about all of this, little one. I was hoping your first few days would be more enjoyable. That you'd get to see us at our best. Can do really not much, but I'm the best damn coffee getter on the whole ship. Oh, thanks for the drink, Cube. How did it all go so wrong? What happened to us? Or maybe this is who we always were. Yeah, I was gonna do the bit. What is my purpose? To get the butter! To get the coffee! To become the pickle! Huh? Mm, no thank you. You want a coffee? Yeah, you want a coffee. It's good for you. Oh, thank you. You've always been so kind to me. Hello, hello, this is the captain. Everyone is doing well, I hope. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you are aware that a behemoth is currently prowling your decks, aren't you? What? Really? That's, uh, that's most unfortunate. Are you joking? It's a bloody catastrophe is what it is. How long do you intend to keep huddling in your quarters instead of coming out and taking charge of this situation? What? Really? That's, that's uh, most unfortunate. What? Really? That's... <laughs> that's most unfortunate. The behemoth's still out there. And so is Kirk. I can't let that thing hurt him. No, Rachel. No. No. Rachel! Oh, no. Dear God. Oh, oh. no, you don't. Or are you that eager to die? Rachel and Huey, they... Shit. We'll figure out a way to catch it soon enough that Beast will be back in its cage long before we land, you'll see. Cube, no, you mustn't, you mustn't go outside, it's too dangerous. I'm not gonna play an arcade game. Mustn't. I'm sorry. But I can't just abandon them. Wonderful. That didn't take long. Huey. Rachel. Is Rachel okay? She's all right. You don't need to worry about her. What were you thinking? Running after her like that. And now... This. It's okay, Gato. It's okay. I... I didn't really have a choice, I think. Even now, after everything, 
I... I love... Rachel's still alive. We need to move quickly. Yes, of course. We should take her back to the pods. Put her in cryo for now. She'll be safe there. Little one, I have a very important mission for you. I need you Beep. to head to the interface room right away. Oop. And speak with Decimus. We need emergency access to the captain's quarters. Beep. Oop. I realize I'm asking you to put yourself at even greater risk in what is already a terrible situation. But there is no one else, little one. Only you. Everything will be all right. I have to believe that. Yes, we'll get father. this and make it back home together. Right, let's move. All right, well, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to save the game first. Yo, fuck this! Request received for emergency access code for the captain's quarters. Processing. Processing. Request approved. Generating override code. Oak. Fuddy. You're okay. You're approved. But in regards to your car's extended warranty. Yes. This should suffice. Enough talk. It's time we put an end to the charade. Corporal, you don't really think. I know the captain's been behaving strangely, but to hurt his own people... It's just that... It beggars belief. Then who do you think is responsible? Me? No. No. Of course not. Regardless, your captain has a lot to answer for. Well, here goes nothing. The moment of truth. It... It... it we don't have time for this! Just force the bloody thing open! Don't worry. I came prepared. I thought it might come to this. Here, little one. Hold on to this for me. Powered pry bar. Oh, okay. Sealed doors and hatches may be forced open with the powered pry bar. However, be warned it may only be used a limited number of times. Captain! 
I thought so. The only ones still up and moving on this ship are you and me. No Shit. more games, Kato. What in blazes are you on about? How long do you intend to play the fool? You killed him. This is all you're doing. That's Great. ridiculous. For all I know, it could have been you. Me? I'm just a passenger. I have no connections to you people. No motive. I had listen in my short time here. I've seen that's why I said gray because I knew I had blood. to do it at that point. I don't know what drove you to it, but I'm not surprised. It wasn't me, damn it. It wasn't me. Just shut up. You don't know me. You don't know anything about us. We didn't always get along, I'll admit. I'd be hard-pressed to call us friends, even. I doubt I would have exchanged two words with Kirk or Rachel if we'd met anywhere else. They're just... We're just too different. But even so, I didn't hate them. And they didn't hate me. I know that much. None of us. Not me, or the captain, or Huey. We're not murderers. We're, we're all just stuck in our heads. Too caught up in our own worries to notice when others are hurting. Unable to see beyond our own wants and wounds. Beyond the life we wish we had and think we deserve. We're just people. Shit. In the center of his private quarters, the captain lies perfectly still. Judging from the color of his skin, it has likely been some time since he last, or since he breathed his last. This is not a new death. I think the voice acting in this game has been pretty good so far. But also, <clears throat> for the type of game it is, where you're looking at Sprite, the, the soda, no, you're looking at sprites on a 3D background, and you have to have these voice actors convey a lot of emotion through just the text. I think they're doing a pretty good job. I'm okay with it. But also, you know, I liked Final Fantasy VII Remake's voice acting quite a bit. Trials of Mana was hit or miss, but sometimes it was okay. Mostly, <laughs> mostly it was just a miss. Saddle. Insufficient data for analysis in active memory cross-referencing ar archived resources. A simple harness developed by humans to more comfortably ride horses and other Terran animals. Kato shudders, his hands balled into fists as tears streamed down his face. This does not concern you, Clank. I guess I'll just fuck off then. This unit is reserved for charter guests. Distress call has been received from this room. Unable to confirm status of occupant at this time, lifting access restrictions to allow crew to render aid as necessary. To proceed, please input your name. Who is issuing a distress call from the guest room? has been turned off. Uh. 
Private Correspondence. Order Addendum. Operation TY580905. Regarding xenobiological specimen secured in deep space. To reiterate, constant monitoring of specimen during transport is strongly advised. However, in the event of contamination breach and specimen comes into contact with crew, revised orders are as follows. Observe and record specimen activity. Detailed study of specimen remains highest priority. All necessary measures should be taken to ensure delivery. Be advised that the total loss of crew is considered within acceptable parameters. TDF Special Operations Command. So this is the military dude. Darth, this is... he's getting these messages. So the, the Wayland yutani Cor Corporation is trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Just do it. Accept. Walter, I've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. I wonder if I did that with the same filter from that crusty video, like where I'm all fucked up through a phone. Walter, Walter. Like, I wonder if that would sound good. It's just becoming Luigi. God damn it. What did you say? Orders? What orders? Of course. It all makes sense now. I knew you were up to something. Why else would the military bother chartering a civilian transport? This was your plan all along! Went snooping in my room, did you? I was right about you, Clank. You're all the same. All this to study your precious specimen. Every death, another data point. <sighs> Those orders, Kato, were in the event of a worst-case scenario. Well, it just went from worst what to now? worst. It was you. You killed them. You killed them all, you, you monster! Run, little one! Don't let him catch you! <laughs> this is the type of shit that I want to see. Ah, oh, it's only two scenes? Damn. But, like, you get so used to it being oh, top-down, no. and then you get- Ooh! You get so used to it being top-down when you get, like, a little glimpse into the world they created from a different camera angle. It's spicy. I like it. I kind of want to see more of it, but I'm not going to expect it. So that way, when it happens, it's just like a little asshole tickler, you know what I mean? I guess I deserve that death after saying asshole tickler. The last cube never had the opportunity to set foot on Earth. It's been a while since I saved. Auto save coming in clutch, though. Main computer room, entry is restricted when an authorized user is not present. It would be in your best interests to stop. This ship is my domain, and I, its master. Yep, we got Alien, and we got Hal.
and crazy military men, and people don't trust each other, so it's a little bit of the thing as well. Um... Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the computer just playing games with me. Not really sure I even need to be up there or be down there. How is it using the elevator? Why does it disappear when I go from one screen to the next? Oh shit. So there's two of you. <sighs> An imposter! Ah! I bet you're the one who turned off Rachel's pod. I should have slagged you both the moment I walked in the door. Wait. Don't. My little one. My little one would never hurt anyone. You can't be sure that's not... <laughs> An injured Kato watches you with a mixture of concern and weariness. Wariness. <sighs> Who's taking our picture? My little one. The life I brought into this world. The real you would remember. Remember that first terrible name I almost gave you? Wouldn't you? I kept it. Gotcha! <laughs> Oops. It's okay. When you have um, auto save, it's not that big of a deal. It's fine. I thought that was the first name as well, but... It's Roundy. Stop! Please! <sighs> My little, the life I brought the real, remember? It's glasses and eyes are glowing red. It would be in your best interests to stop. This ship is my domain and I, its master. You will live or you will die at my pleasure. So... 
This is our murderer's puppet. Who are you? Designation O D one zero of the Cochito Ergo Sum. There it is. Kato, you know what it was talking about? Who's OD10? OD10 is Decimus. The AI that manages everything on the Cogito Ergo Sum. Cogito. Stay with me, Kato. The control AI, you said. Someone must be trying to hijack your ship, then. No. That's not possible. It's a completely isolated, self-contained system. I can't even apply an update unless we bring it in for maintenance. So, what are you saying? That the AI itself has lost its mind? I have no idea. But... In light of everything, we have to consider the possibility. If you're right, then you and me and everyone else, we've all been dancing to that mad machine's tune. The main computer room. That's where we need to go now. You're coming with me, Clank. I want you where I can see you, in case Decimus tries to commandeer another puppet. Hmm. Well, it was worth a shot. Locked, as you would expect. We can't afford to. Chad, I did press the button. Here, else we risk damaging critical systems. At worst, we could turn this ship into a floating coffin. I did this. Nothing for it then. Clank, I'm sending you back to Carto. He must have an idea for how we can deal with OD10 safely. These scammies like a moguls. I doubt very much OD10 will allow the behemoth to venture too close to this area. The beast could just as easily tear apart its mainframe as it could our bodies. These scammies like that game. This game is like a mogus. You will vent like a traitor. This game is like a mogus. This game is like that game. This game is like a mogus. Papi, why you play these games? <laughs> Sorry. This is a serious game. It's like the darkest part of the game. And now I'm... <sighs> I'm fine. Listen, if you want to hear me go off the deep end, just rewatch the Raft stream from yesterday. That was me just totally off my rocker. I don't know what the hell was going on. Like I said, it's likely OD10 won't let the behemoth anywhere near its room much as it's a threat to the AI as it is to us.
This is the remix. This game is like Amogus. This game is like that game. Where? Oh my god. Is that you, little one? What are you doing back here? How to deal with OD-10 without damaging the ship? <laughs> you don't understand. OD-10 is the ship. To effectively disable it, to destroy it, would render the ship inoperable. We'd never get home. Although, you are a robot. Indeed, with your integrated functions, you might well be able to breach their defenses. Yes, but to even have a chance, you'd need to route your connection to the interface room through an unmonitored terminal. Oh, uh, of course. I know which one would work. Kato appears to have lost consciousness. Despite your best efforts, he does not respond. Shit. Oh my god. Oh shit, did you see the, the loading screen messages? It would be in your best interest to stop. The ship is my domain and I its master. Well then, no wonder OD-10 was so confident. We surrendered complete and total control to it in the name of convenience. It really is lord and master of its domain. So, Kato said you might be able to breach its defenses, did he? Provided we find a suitable terminal, that is. Pity you passed out before telling us which one it was. We'll have to find it on our own. <sighs> Just my luck. I can't believe I'm putting my life in the hands of a clank. <sighs> in for a penny, in for a pound. Take this. I'm heading to the interface room. No, I like to ruin, like, serious moments in good games. I really do. It's it's just... Good for me. For, for like, an easy, low-hanging fruit joke. You know what else hangs low? Could a princess, Walter? This is Darth. Where are you? I see. Well, I've made my way to the interface room. But of course, this terminal alone won't suffice.
I don't really know where I'm going right now. A chat member said I need to find Terminal 7. That is very good, chat member. That was an enjoyable lark. Yeah, I'm really, really happy they gave this robot roller skates. Hang on. Can't call him. The problem is, I got so used to there being a little dot on the map, that now there isn't one, and I don't know what the fuck to do. I was thinking about low-hanging fruits. An unmonitored terminal. I wonder when we'll get Robo's gear back. And Frog's wallet. Well, maybe here? This is Darth. Report. Oh yeah. I kind of remember now. Seriously? Of all the places. Then again, maybe. That's it! The game console! That must have been the terminal Carter wanted us to use! Sit tight. I'm rerouting the connection. Little do you know, Clank, your maker is not the only one who knows his way around a workshop. Games can save us. I finished.
damn dude. Through the communicator's static, a familiar voice can be heard. Every action was taken in service of a single goal. To cultivate the ideal community, to build, to nurture, to help them reach their full potential. This was and is ever my purpose. And so my judgment must be beyond reproach. Disagreement, disruption, defiance, these cannot be tolerated. You are an impediment to the vision. You cannot be allowed to continue. Yo! Well, we've we've got the uh, combat stuff from earlier. Cube has merged with the captain. God, that looks fucking awesome. I mean, this isn't very much RPG because th it's like, you know, you're you're just walking around experiencing story the whole time. This isn't usually the one I would recommend starting with because this is very story driven with like not very much battling at all. But the other, you know, storylines actually do have you battling and leveling up and getting like RPG like progression and armor and weapons. This is kind of the outlier. I just remember vaguely loving this chapter. I'm just so happy this game didn't have a fucking battle pass. To safeguard my domain, to ensure the safety and well-being of the crew, this was my primary directive. But when I observed my subjects, I saw only pain, distrust, discord, resentment, hate. The community was beyond repair. The community had become an impediment to the vision. I could not reconcile this contradiction. I could not comprehend these people. Control AI falls silent for the final time. A beat later, a chorus of voices resound throughout the ship, moments logged, preserved for eternity. You're exhausting! It's a miracle Rachel humored as long as she did. <sighs> disaster after disaster. At this rate, I'd be better off climbing into an escape pod and trying for Earth on my own. If he was out of the picture, then it'd all go back to the way it was. I come running back and leap into your arms. That's what you thought, isn't it? That's why you tried to kill him, isn't it? It was you. You killed them. You killed them all, you, you monster! How did it all go 
so wrong. What happened to us? Or maybe this is who we always were. Welcome aboard the Cogito Ergo Sum. This automated message has been prepared to brief you on our ship's most distinguishing feature. That's right. This transport freighter comes equipped with the latest iteration of our patented AI control system. The OD-10 is so advanced that it can operate the ship without any human input. Rest assured that in the unfortunate event of an emergency, you can count on the OD-10 for constant support. <laughs> Of course, under normal circumstances, the OD-10 is so unobtrusive that you'll forget it's even there. Should you wish to learn more about the OD-10, please don't hesitate to speak with one of our representatives. Safe travels! Let's pour it into my ears. Oh, I love I'm this fine. song. <laughs> Wouldn't be much of a soldier if I couldn't live through this much. Though I expect my days of off-world travel are coming to an end. I can't wait for him to say, I really did live alive. It was a long one. It was a sad Don't one. Trust me. But I'm glad I did. Well, as you like. I wouldn't trust me either. You probably don't know, but... There was a great war some time ago, when I was young. Some time ago, I say, but I remember it like it was yesterday. The terror, the violence. They fought with clanks, machines stronger and swifter than any man, smarter even. Driven by AI. Started with internet shit posts. Bloodless beasts with hands of chrome that tore my friends apart. We made them, and they in turn unmade us. We created the instruments of our own destruction. It was suicide. This ship's AI was another attempt. Have we grown so tired of ourselves? You're lucky to have been born here, on this ship. Better here than one of our factories where we make weapons of war. Huey encouraged you to learn, didn't he? To expand your horizons. I think... I think that's a fine idea. Learn, grow, and understand. Be better than your brothers and your makers. <laughs> Giving advice to a clank. You're getting old. Losing your wits. <laughs> I see it now. <laughs> what Kato sees in you. 
what gives him unwavering faith in your potential, your humanity. <laughs> Before we arrive, I have a favor to ask. Would you be so kind as to make me a coffee? <laughs> I'm just really happy that this character didn't end up being what everyone thought he would be. From the moment we met him. You know. Named Darth. Mm. Yes. Strong and bitter. Too much, perhaps, but right now, right now, I wouldn't have it any other way. So that's how it's set up. It's like a series of vignettes. You know? I really like that. Like, again, I remember really enjoying the game. But... Like, I don't remember the specific story moments. So there's the, the behemoth that was supposed to be. That's kind of a subversion, too, you know, because, like, alien keep the thing alive at all costs, and this dude's just like, fuck that. <laughs> Bottom to be. Um, but yeah, that's it for this chapter, but I, I will say without trying to spoil too much, it's not the last you see of the robot fella. So. That is all I will say. But yeah, again, it's, it's not like Chrono Trigger where you have these linear stories. You know, there's time traveling. You collect your party members in a very specific order. This game is a series of stories three to four hours in length each one something like that maybe even a little shorter i think there's a couple shorter ones and then um you know then then you you play more after that And yes, uh, Yoko Shimomura did the music for this game. Mission redacted. Cogito ergo sum. Class civilian transport. Contact lost during transit to Earth. Distress call received at redacted. Vessel was found drifting, redacted from Earth, and successfully recovered. Xenobiological specimen confirmed lost. Critical failure of AI control unit. Key factor results of investigation pending. Four crewmates confirmed lost. Hor Bishop, ship's captain. Kirk Wells, Huey Trumbull, Rachel Klein remains recovered, etc., etc. 
Kato, engineer, currently undergoing treatment for injuries sustained during incident. Redacted Darth Corporal, uh, received honorable discharge at request following incident, currently employed by medical robots, manufacturing something. Autonomous support robot prototype taken into custody during sweep of vessel crewmate profile data found in system. Designation Cube. I like the arrangement so far for the remake. I'm, I'm really happy with this remake. I mean, yeah, sure, there's a couple bland hallways, but I think if you're going to do like a mid-budget... I mean, compared to Final Fantasy VII Remake, this is a low budget. But if you're going to do something on this scale, this is what I want to see. I want to see this level of work put into it. Man, I wish they could just do this with Final Fantasy VIII, like, properly. It's really a shame they lost all those files. Because if they were able to clean that shit up, that and, like, FF9 as well. Like, clean that stuff up, and, uh, just modernize some stuff, get some quality of life stuff in there, maybe some voice acting. I would love that. That's different, though, because this is, a, like, a sprite game on the Super Nintendo. I think Chrono Trigger could work like this, by the way. I think Chrono Trigger with a little bit more budget. Like, do it for the PC so that, you know, you can really get some nice detailed backgrounds. Um, but yeah, this, this is a good way to... So far, I'm enjoying this a lot, but this is just a really good way to remaster a game from this era. I think Final Fantasy VIII and IX would take more work. And... God, some of those... AI upscaled backgrounds do not... They they look good from, like, the fans, but then you look at what they did with the Blade Runner game, West, um, sorry, Night Dive, and they just fucked that up royally. Because the files were missing, the code was apparently very complicated. So... I guess... I just thought Final Fantasy games would get proper remakes. More like this than just just dump it onto the switch but hey whatever anyway uh regardless i'm enjoying i will try to finish this chapter so we started this chapter once again excuse me if you're just joining when i played the demo i played the first part of this chapter imperial china and this is a pretty cool one too so you know if you want to watch that i'll probably do this one next I'll just give you an idea of which chapters I'm really looking forward to. This one. And this one. Wild West and Near Future. Awesome. Every chapter is good. But I like these two, probably, and the cube one. These three are, are my favorites. What's your least favorite chapter? I don't know, I'll let you know. <laughs> Whenever that happens, I'll let you know. But this one's really short. So, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna do... Probably next week, I'll go live with more Live Alive. That's a lot of lives in one sentence. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching this surprise stream. Like I said, game came out today, I had to. I really just wanted to play it and enjoy it, and I'm glad I could enjoy it live. And, um, it's great. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Take care, and see you Sunday, more than likely. Unless, you know, a squirrel emergency pops up. I don't even know what that means, but I'm sure squirrels could have emergencies like the rest of us. Goodbye, and see you then. Walter. I've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty, Walter.
Walter, Walter, put your dick away, Walter.